This is Luke Ranieri again with my father, Robert Ranieri, and this is one of your several hundred works on paper, uh, which is actually not an exaggeration. And uh, this was done in 1995, one of the large works on paper. And as you can see, these are the, the rough dimensions. Well, Papa, why did you, back in the 90s, decide to do these works on paper? Well, I guess I would say it was a kind of uh, clearing of the deck for a whole new enterprise. And mm. there's a certain thing that because the paper is smooth and relatively inexpensive, I can do quick uh, works and they will dry quickly because of my techniques. And I get immediately uh, the chance to prove certain uh, strategies and how the paint goes on. And mm. so in this case, I have used uh, almost a stencil-like effect because I had a bunch of tools which are used for plastering a wall or a ceiling, right. which I've done a lot here at the house. And also, if you compare this kind of, of, of surface and detail, this was a... Uh, serrated uh, steel float and it has mm. very close uh, say teeth like uh, notching on the edge. Mm. Do and, all of them, all of these are yeah, similar tools. And here it's a different uh, tool which is a little wider and more open and uh, here this is a piece that I actually uh, developed by it's like a stencil, but I have notched out the, a piece of sheet metal. So the spaces hmm. are more, say, diversified rather than the similarity that you have parallel here. Hmm. And I saved this particular episode for last, so it would override everything else. Hmm. And while it's doing that, because of the actual width of the pieces of the metal that were left un uncut, they remove more of the, the white area, and I was able to make a quick change that uh, carried right through this whole upper section. And one of the things that I devised was I used very heavy uh, uh, slabs of steel on at least two of the corners, mm. because I'm pressing really hard to scrape away this paint, and it had to be done with brevity, one, two, and over. Sometimes I lay the paint here and start from this direction, going like this first. And, uh, and of course, I used special oil paint that dries quickly. Mm. By the next day, maybe I would do another layer. And the works that you will see on paper are a series of works with one or two days of work. And they had to be done with this kind of fresh assault mode. And, um, I'm counting on the, the transparency that you get. You can see the layering as you look through. And there's a kind of atmospheric quality because of the various uh, light tones that are interacting with, with uh, a different tool driving it. And that gives me uh, a kind of soft, see-through structure, filigree. Mm. Which you've used often in your I've canvas paintings as well. describing my painting. Mm. Yeah. And of course, this can happen very fast, very different from the way oils are treated. You can't use steel like this on an oil painting. Certainly not. It would scar it. <laughs> but here, yeah. working flat, this is painted like this flat on a, on a tabletop. And then later, of course, to be hung up against the wall. So right. That's really the essence here. Extraordinary. Grazie, Papa. Oh, I'm happy to do it. Thank you. Sure. Uh, see more at robertranieri.com.